Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is Saturday morning of March the 18th of 2023. Good morning to you. And yesterday we did finish the book of Zech or finish the book of Job. And this morning we're going to turn our attention to the book of Zechariah. The book of Zechariah. And I'll give you some time to get there. This is Coffee with Pastor. I have my hot cup of coffee right here, and again, my copy of the Word of God is open to Zechariah. I took a look at the bad dad joke, and I thought, you know what, I'm not going to read that one, but have no fear. When I was at conference, I found this book, and it is the best worst dad jokes. So we're still in business, and let's look at the first one. I named my dogs Rolex and Timex. They're my watchdogs. Okay, we will put that away. And again, good morning. I know you're just thrilled that I got that book. And um, Lord willing, we will hear quite a few of those jokes as well. Again, we're in the book of Zechariah. The reason I came to Zechariah is the fact that this is the book that I am teaching through in Sunday school, and I really cannot get enough of it. Um, I've been reading it at least from start to finish, at least once a week, more than likely two to three times a week, and it is an amazing book. It's a book that is full of hope and uh, encouragement for the Jewish people, and we're going to take the opportunity to read. There are also some various um, lessons that we can pick up on today. So it is nine o'clock, and so let's go ahead and let's bow our heads, bow our hearts before our Heavenly Father. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we come into your presence with grateful hearts. Thank you for this morning. Thank you for what was done yesterday, what we can continue to get done today. And Lord, we pray that today, today, you would be pleased with us. Father, as we come into your presence and we contemplate your goodness to us, we contemplate who you are, we contemplate the things that you do. Father, we stand back in amazement and again remembering that you are above all and you are greater than all than we can ask or imagine. Lord, we come into your presence. We desire to worship you, to recognize your worth. And Father, as we come before you, we contemplate these things. Lord, we do pray that our worship, our time together here, would be acceptable in your sight. And not only this time, as we read your word together, but our lives would become an act of worship. Each day is when we wake up and when we go to sleep, that we would be cognizant, that we would be mindful of your honor, your glory, and that we would seek these things. Lord, as we do so, we ask your blessing upon your people, that you would guide us, that you would direct us. A man may make all of his plans, but you direct his steps. And Father, we are asking for just that. Father, we pray your blessing upon each one. We pray for nothing but your very best. We pray for eyes that we might behold, that we might see the blessings you bring into our lives. And Father, hearts that are full of gratitude that we would constantly be thanking you for your goodness. Now, Father, bless the reading of your word. 
encourage us, strengthen us today. For we ask this in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. The book of Zechariah. I trust you have found it. It's the second to the last book of the Old Testament. Let's begin reading. In the eighth month, in the second year of Darius, came the word of the Lord unto Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Idu, the prophet, saying, The Lord hath been sore displeased with your fathers. Therefore, say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. Be ye not as your fathers, unto whom the former prophets have cried, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye now from your evil ways, and from your evil doings. But they did not hear, nor hearken unto me, saith the Lord. Your fathers, where are they? And the prophets, do they live forever? But my words and my statutes which I commanded my servants the prophets, did they not take hold of your fathers? And they returned and said, Like as the Lord of hosts thought to do unto us, according to our ways and according to our doings, so hath he dealt with us. Upon the four and twentieth day of the eleventh month, which is the month Sabbath, in the year of, in the second year of Darius, came the word of the Lord unto Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Idu, the prophet, saying, I saw by night, and behold, a man riding upon a red horse, and he stood among the myrtle trees that were in the bottom, and behind him there were red horses speckled and white. Then said I, O my Lord, what are these? And the angel that talked with me said unto me, I will show thee what these be. And the man that stood among the myrtle trees answered and said, These are they whom the Lord hath sent to walk to and fro through the earth. And they answered the angel of the Lord that stood among the myrtle trees and said, We have walked to and fro through the earth. And behold, all the earth sitteth still and is at rest. Then the angel of the Lord answered and said, O Lord of hosts, how long wilt thou not have mercy on Jerusalem and on the cities of Judah, against which thou hast had indignation these threescore and ten years? And the angel answered the angel that talked with me with good words and comfortable words. So the angel that communed with me said unto me, Cry thou, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with a great jealousy. And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I was but a little displeased, and they helped forward the affliction. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, I am returned to Jerusalem with mercies. My house shall be built in it, saith the Lord of hosts and a line shall be stretched forth upon Jerusalem. Cry yet, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, My cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad, and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion, and shall yet choose Jerusalem. Then lifted I up mine eyes, and saw, and behold, four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, what be these? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then said I, What come these to do? And he spake, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to fray them to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horns over the land of Judah, to scatter it. 
And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. Beloved, I want to just say thank you for joining us. And you need to understand that you people are a blessing to us. We certainly think that. We certainly believe that. And you need to know that you are a blessing to us by joining us each and every day. Uh, today, as we mentioned, is Saturday. It's a good day to prepare yourself for the Lord's Day tomorrow and to be sensitive to his promptings, his leading. If there's anything that needs to be taken care of between you and him, today is a great day to do it. And then tomorrow we come together and we worship God together. Beloved, I pray that God will bless you today. I pray for God's best in your life. And as we tell you each and every day, be faithful to God in all that you say, all that you do, all that you think. Be pleasing to him. Never allow yourself to become someone else's excuse for turning away from the gospel of Jesus Christ. Remember, we love you. God loves you. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.